Today we're going to go over the John Deere Command Pro Handle. The Command Pro Handle gives us the ability to program our buttons to different functions on our tractor. We have our toggle switches A, B, C, and D. And then we have our push button switches 10, 11, and 12. So to set our functions, we go to our control setup. And here we have our A, B, C, and D, and our 10, 11, and 12. So to set one function, push on one of the buttons. Set if you want it for a tractor or iTech. And then select if you want rear hitch or any of the SCVs listed. So then you can set if you want it to hold or float. And then it's a dual rocker, so it'll extend one way and retract the other. So you can repeat that for the rest of your toggle switches. Then you come over to your push button switches. Select if you want an iTech or tractor function. And then you can choose between engine RPMs, auto track, or PTO. We also have the ability to set up to three set speeds. We have set speed one, set speed two, and maximum vehicle speed. If you want to set those ahead of time, you can go to our transmission page, click on any of the functions, and increase or decrease from there. You can also increase or decrease anytime you're in that set speed by using this scroll knob. So, to move the tractor, we have a function button on the front, pull it in like a trigger, and bump it forward or backwards depending which direction you want to go, and then to speed up or slow down, just bump it forward or hold it in to speed up quicker. Same thing, slow down, pull backwards, or hold it backwards. Same thing in reverse, you got to hold your trigger, pull it in reverse, that will start us backing up, and then we can pull backwards to back up faster. So then to go to neutral, just push forward till it detents, and then to activate our set speed, go ahead and hit forward, trigger it and forward, and then toggle to the right, and that will give you your first set speed. If you want to switch to our next set speed, hit number two. That will be your second set speed. And like I said before, if you want to increase the speed, just scroll our knob forward or backwards to speed up or slow down. And our last one, we have our maximum vehicle speed. You can just push it forward to a detents and it will take off all its own. Also on the handle, we have an aggressiveness. This button is how aggressive your machine will take off or slow down. One being the lightest and three being the most aggressive. And then the last function we have is creeper mode. So say you want to back up to a wagon, we toggle our handle to the left and then we can pull it backwards to creep backwards or forward to creep forward. Then last thing, when we're done, we can either put it in neutral or put it in park.